In this video, I will teach you how to successfully implement a shared element transition animation between multiple composables in your Android application. Also, I will showcase another example of using this same animation, but with a lazy column instead. We will use an orbital library built by Skydose. Uh, it's actually a multi-platform library, but in this video I will focus on Android only. You can test it out on uh, different platforms, so be sure to read more about it. Anyhow, in this uh, demo project uh, I have only two additional dependencies, Orbital and the Coil image loading library. I have prepared one model class that uh, we are going to use. It has only three different properties. And alongside of that, I have also added one list that contains uh, three different uh, mountain objects and some random information for each one of them. First, we are going to start by implementing a basic shared element transition between uh, two composable screens. The first composable screen uh, will be a, a simple image that uh, will be located in the bottom right corner of our screen. Whenever we click on that image, a new composable screen will open up with that same image animating to a new position. And also some additional text elements that will appear along the way. In this main screen, first I will declare two different variables. One that will hold a single mountain object from that list from before and the second one a boolean value that will indicate how our shared element should behave, but also when to display a new composable screen as well. Next, I am going to declare here a shared image variable that will use remember content with the orbital scope function. That function provides an orbital scope in which uh, we will define an element that will be shared in the transition between uh, two different screens. In our case, that will be an async image, which comes from the coil image loading library. Here, I'm using an uh, if-else check to decide how this image will look like before and uh, after the transition. Then, I'm calling uh, animate shared element transition, passing an orbital scope and an animation spec as well. Now, after we have defined the shared element composable, let's call an orbital composable in which we need to decide uh, when to display the first and the second screen. And this uh, main screen composable will be the first screen of course. So, whenever we click on this uh, orbital, uh, we are going to trigger the transformation. And when the transformation is uh, triggered, we are displaying a detailed screen. Otherwise, we are showing only the shared image element in our first main screen. Now, one thing to remember here is that uh, to this uh, detailed screen, we do need to pass that uh, same shared image element that uh, will be animated. So that uh, shared element needs to be located in both of those screens. Now, on the other side, our uh, details uh, screen is uh, quite simple. So, whenever it enters the composition, we are triggering an uh, animated visibility block, which uh, will slowly display its uh, content with a uh, fade-in effect. And of course, that uh, same shared element uh, will be placed uh, on top of that. Perfect. After all of that, be sure to add an internet permission to load those images and call the main screen composable from the main activity. Now, launch the application, and uh, there you go, that's how we have implemented a uh, shared element transition animation between uh, two composable screens. It looks great. Now, another example, this time we will use a lazy column with a uh, multiple different uh, mountain objects. So first, let's create here a new composable screen with the name of a list screen. Now, in that composable, we need to wrap the lazy column with uh, all its uh, mountain objects within the orbital composable. For each item in this list, we are going to remember an expanded state. After that, I'm calling an uh, animated visibility and uh, orbital composable. And then, inside, I'm declaring a, a text variable that will hold the first uh, shared element. 
Now, that shared element will contain uh, two text elements. One for the title and the other one for a description. Then, after that, we are specifying the animation for the transition of those uh, two text elements. Below that, we are creating a, a second shared element, which is in this case an image, or async image. We are also specifying the transition animation for that uh, shared element, but also how this uh, image will look like before and uh, after the transition. Finally, below that, we are deciding how should those uh, shared elements be arranged before and after they are expanded. So when expanded is true, we will use a column, otherwise we will use a row. And also down below, I have specified and created one util function to remove a ripple effect uh, from this uh, orbital above. This is of course an optional step. Perfect. Now, let's run the application and uh, test it out. You can click uh, to expand one of those uh, items from the lazy column, and you can expand and collapse uh, multiple items at the same time as well. It looks awesome. Have you tried implementing a shared element transition with a Jetpack Compose? If you have, please let me know in the comment section down below, and also, don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.